Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with a, another model video. A very, very quick uh, little tutorial and uh, how to on airbrushing. Now, what happened was I screwed a nozzle onto this uh, high sink, went a bit too heavy handed, uh, snapped it, and left the thread inside, which uh, meaning I can't put another thread on. Now, if we're very lucky, you look in there, you have an inner circle, uh, which is the hole that the air and paint goes through, and the thread going into the airbrush. It's going to be quite tight and talk. There's a few ways around it, normally with an old-fashioned scribe, or uh, these new hole-poking um, nozzle tools. You could jam it in there and uh, twist it out. I happen to have not purchased one of those before because I haven't had this happen to me for a very long time. But the few times I've fixed it, I've uh, used that uh, with a hobby knife, a little blunt, a little better. I just uh, dig it in to uh, the brass and I screw it out. It might take a few goes, but you don't want to go in too deep because uh, you'll uh, thread uh, the brass or you'll thread the uh, thread in the actual airbrush. You only want to take the bit out. So you dig it in and you try to screw it out. And you can see it's already coming out. Just take your time with it. And there you go. We've got the nozzle out. Because it's so soft, a steel blade, stainless steel blade, will easily, easily pierce in it. And just as a reminder for um, those who are going to put a new one in, we're going to do a quick demonstration on uh, how to get it in there nice and tight so air doesn't escape and you cause problems, as well as not breaking another one. So I've got it sitting in there. Put the wrench in, and then once you start getting a bit of resistance, one finger on the wrench, a little bit of pressure, nice and tight. If you use uh, a nozzle with a O-ring, it's not a problem whatsoever. The O-ring is going to keep it nice and tight. If you're risky like me and use uh, nozzles with no O-rings, which are a little cheaper, You'll have to go a bit tighter, you'll have to use a little bit of lubricant. You save a bit of money, so uh, that's uh, not a biggie, not a biggie at all. I'm going to uh, lubricate the outer rim of uh, <clears throat> the thread. A little bit around the nozzle. Screw her up. Add the needle until there's resistance, and we're done. Thank you very much for watching. As always, it's still um, stay tuned and uh, watch uh, the other uh, airbrush uh, tutorials, uh, honing your airbrush skills. Hope this helped you out if you've made a mistake. Have a good one.